his word wise. Hello, Kate. Hello, Pete. Is that a biker's jacket? You think it looks a little like that? Yeah. Yes, of course. So well, I thought I'd start the year, you know, casually. Like, <laughs> they're very casual, <laughs> you know. If bikers used lace-ups, which they probably don't. <laughs> Here we go. Right. Uh, what's the correct use of bought and brought from Helen Smith and uh, Nabiak in New South Wales? Thank you, Helen. In standard English, buy has a past tense bought and bring has the past tense brought. But what's happening is that increasingly bought is appearing as the past of bring. Stop it, everyone. Stop it. So I might say something like, Pete bought in his holiday snaps for us all to look at. Mm -hmm. And it's in, appearing also in writing, suggests it's a very well-entrenched change. But it's wrong, isn't it? Well, it's, it's a process that's known as suppletion. It's got a fancy title, this one. Mm. And common usage, everyday words that are also irregular are prone to it. A good example would be go went. The past of go is not goed, but went. Go stole its past from another verb, wend. It did that years and years ago. In fact, it stole a past way back when. It stole in past tenses twice, this right. word. So it's, it's an interesting change, and, and you know, it's happening all over the English-speaking world in the case of buy and bring. And in fact, in some places, brought is appearing as the past of buy. So it's one to watch, Pete. Gee, you're a good, Kate. Um, <clears throat> we are aging.